My name is Aaron Freeman. We're at Kalunga in the mid north of South Australia, and I'm a mixed broad acre farmer consisting of 700 hectares of arable land and running a thousand head of merino ewes. Uh, rainfall's around the 350 millimetres a year, so it enables us to grow a variety of, of crops, in, uh, including wheat, barley, uh, canola, lentils, uh, and field peas. Technology and making money go hand in hand. Nothing's gotten cheaper, everything's got more expensive. So it's really important to maximise your profits where you can. 26 years ago, we'd be doing 20 hours a day driving machinery. It was not efficient, a lot of overlap to today. With the one pass, it's centimetre perfect. There's no overlap, there's no wasted product. Everything's as efficient as you possibly can be. I didn't think that you could get a 35 year old tractor with nine and a half thousand hours on it to steer sub five centimetres. I didn't think it'd ever happen. It, now it's possible. It brings older machinery in line with the premium machinery. Uh, so every piece of machinery on the property is valuable. Fatigue in the agriculture industry is a huge thing. And with technology today, it manages that so much better. To use auto steer in farming practices takes the fatigue out of it. You don't have to concentrate on just driving. You can concentrate on what's going on around in your surrounds. You can make sure everything's going at the right depth, the right speed, the right capacity. You're saving on fuel costs, chemical costs, fertilizer costs, man hours, because everything is within centimeters. There's no overlap, no double sewing. It's highly efficient. It's turned into a precision machine. It's so easy to use. Uh, you can get people that aren't full-time workers here um, come in within an hour. They can understand how to easily operate it. Installation was really easy. Took the old steering wheel off, put the electric steering wheel on, but away we go. Setup was really easy. Wouldn't matter if it was autonomous or using a uh, RTK signal, which I do here. For a new farmer getting into it, easy. Without RTK correction, you just go to autonomous and uh, steer like a bullet. Headland turns, all you gotta do is just slow down. It turns on the same spot every single time. Doesn't matter whether it's coming into a point or it's a, a square boundary, it'll sort it out for you. That's what headland turns are supposed to be and that's what it does. It's faultless. You can inter row, you can skip row, you can alternate row. You tell it which way you wanna go, press the button and it'll change for you. There's always something to do on a farm, so if you're less hours out in the paddock, it's more hours doing something else, whether it be maintenance or stock work, any other jobs, or most importantly, family time. I'd recommend this to anyone, uh, whether you're coming from a, another system or you've already used Topcon, whether it be with their premium range or an older version, it's uh, really easy to swap everything over, set up and get going. Farmers that don't adopt technology, embrace it, move with it, they'll be left behind. They'll just get outpriced. They'll, they'll lose money, won't better keep up, won't expand. They'll just be taken over.